Boss, I swapped the hydroponic purifier on tank 34B. Also checked the filters on the Atmo scrubbers, and everything looks golden. Something did come to mind, however, and I thought it best to raise it to your attention. I know one of your main talking points about the facility is our world-class quarantine capabilities. I've been double-checking the security protocols during my spare time. Yes, after I've tended to my laboratory responsibilities. And I think I may have found a uh, vulnerability. While we have tremendous redundancy on physical barriers, I am concerned that so much of our emergency procedures rely on a heavy supply of energy. Uh, everything is fine so long as we always have Christite on hand. If something were to happen to our Christite, the failsafe system would release the pneumatic pumps on the main doors A and B to allow all human personnel to safely exit. While I'm aware that the xenobiological specimens would still be contained within their individual holding cells, I am concerned about reducing one more barrier between these organisms and the outside world, however implausible their escape might be. We should really reevaluate our emergency preparedness and consider implementing a ripcord policy where, worst case scenario, all of the facility is locked down with no regard for preserving the Xeno species despite their incredible value. Alpha Prime's colonists can always send more. Thanks for your time. I look forward to discussing this with you. Ricardo. Boss, me again. I don't mean to nag, but did you see my previous vid packet? I really really am concerned that our quarantine measures will not be sufficient in the case of an emergency loss of power. We should take steps now to safeguard New Eden from these xenoflora specimens. While there may appear to be no obvious danger, we both know there are always unforeseen and far-reaching repercussions when a foreign species is introduced into a new biosphere. Let's please address this before it's too late. Ricardo. Ricardo? Don't worry about our quarantine procedures. We have a process in place to handle just such a catastrophic event. Trust in the process. Let the process do its job, and you do yours. I hired you to maintain mechanical hardware in our primary holding cells. That's what I want you to do. The Dionea alpha muscipula specimen in pod 127 is showing an unusual growth rate since it was moved last week from pod 32. I want you to determine why. What environmental factors are different. If you find an anomaly, correct it. No more lollygagging. Ricardo, stay focused. LaCroix, words cannot express my elation at seeing the spectacular results of cross-pollination between the Xeno species and our terrestrial ones. This is far more than we could have ever hoped for. Can you imagine the accolades we would have received in the old world? We're witnessing mutations and new trait expressions in a matter of only five to ten generations. It's phenomenal. And the results that Vicente is getting with Dionea from Pod 127 is more than we could have dreamed of. That the specimen could not only adapt, but also thrive so rapidly in our messy atmo mix, heavy with nitrogen and O2, is absolutely astounding. Astounding! <laughs> he said the plant has begun sexual reproduction, releasing a cloud of orange spores. He's already submitted the spores for analysis, and he promised me a first look at the results. You jelly? <laughs> Sad, isn't it? That the happiest I've been at this job is when our facility actually died and left life to its own devices. I tell you, it makes me believe again in the beauty of the universe. What a delight to witness this firsthand. <laughs> Huan Ming. Admin log of terminal event. Primary power source failure. Lockdown imminent. All personnel are directed to evacuate the facility immediately. End message. Goodbye, world. <laughs>